are Christ my Lord The only way to meet my God Jesus is the Christ my Lord He washed away my sins for me Jesus is the Christ my Lord The darkness crumbles at His name Jesus is the Christ my Lord King of kings I will I will gain life only when I enter through Genesis 3.15, Door of Christ. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14 The main character of Genesis 3.15, Jesus, who came as Christ, spoke to us. Enter through the narrow gate and you will gain life. So, what is a narrow gate? I'm not referring to a small door that our remnants may think being small in size. The narrow gate Jesus spoke of is the gate for sheep. In the other words, the door for sheep is Jesus Christ. In John chapter 10, verse 7 to 10, Jesus said, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for sheep. All those who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Then sheep must pass through the sheep or gate, which is Jesus Christ. Then can they safely be protected be out in the fields to acquire abundant grass and green life. What is the greatest grace that God the Creator has given me today? Through Genesis 3.15, the offspring of woman, Jesus Christ, God gave me the power to crush the head of Satan who steals, kills, and destroys my soul, heart, and mind. Jesus is the Christ. We are children of God. All problems are gone. Satan, be gone. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the days of Noah, many people did not pay attention to the covenant of blood in Genesis 3.15 the Messiah God had given. Instead, people lived their lives with a religion that idol worship to receive God's blessings. They were busy, only concentrating on worldly things that only eat, play, get married, and build houses. But Noah was different from them. Noah followed the word of God rather than being accustomed to the words of the world. And he became a person who has received grace by the Lord. Noah did not live self-centered life of Genesis 3 the physical life of Genesis 6, and the worldly success of Genesis 11. Every day, he built an altar and fought a spiritual battle in the name of the Messiah, the offspring of women in Genesis 3.15. He crushed the head of the devil who had already entered into his body. Even if the flood judgment was coming near, people were not interested in God's word. Rather, they mocked Noah. Oh no! How could he build an ark on the top of that high mountain? And he says that God will send heavy rain to judge the world with water. But the sky is so clear. The sun is smiling brightly. 
and the weather is just fine, isn't it? People who mock Noah like this, in the end, faced judgment of the flood and were all drowned to death. However, what happened to Noah, who, by the grace of God, entered through the narrow gate without being swept away by the words of people? He built an ark according to God's word and were not judged by the flood. The whole land of earth became Noah's land, and he was blessed as the richest man that no one could compare to. So, if you go through the wide door, deceived by the words of the world, with human-centered way, you will result in destruction. However, if you go through the narrow gate by following the word of God, centered on God, you will receive salvation and life. It was the time when Jesus was being interrogated in the court of the high priest. Peter, who was far away from Jesus, was so afraid and terrified when people told him that he used to accompany Jesus. Peter said three times that he did not know Jesus. Even though Peter was a powerless one who denied Jesus three times, he received the Christ who promised to come as the protagonist of Genesis 3.15 as his master. Then the work of the Holy Spirit took place through the spiritual battle to deliver the name of Christ into his body and his life changed anew. Now, Peter is a royal priest who blocks out curses and disasters. Children of God who drives out darkness with light. He came to realize that he is an ambassador of the kingdom of God for the world evangelization that saves people scattered all around the world. The door of evangelism and mission were opened all over the world because of Peter, the one person who took hold of the covenant of Christ. That is why he was able to raise the crippled man who was sitting at the gate of the temple. Silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. The living God has already called our remnants as the main figure of world evangelization. So do not enter the wide door of my stubbornness, my greed, and human-centered way. No matter how weak you are, if you enter through the door of Christ of Genesis 3.15, you can receive the power of God from above and start again. You, filthy Satan, who makes me live as my own self without accepting God's covenant, Christ as my master, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be completely crumbled down from my body and I will enter through the gate of Christ. Creator God has made men out of dust in His image and likeness. Those who have been breathed into their nose, the breath of life, became spiritual beings. Thus, we were made to always be with God and rely on God. Therefore, we must eat the word of the living God through worship in every Sabbath and gain vitality so that we can live as the bundles of blessings of God who conquers and subdues this earth. However, God's enemy, Satan, the devil, the ancient serpent, the great dragon, who hurled down to this earth and are invisible to our eyes, finally appeared in Genesis 3 and deceived Adam and Eve with lying, making them to not follow God's word. In the end, we humans left God and all the blessings we have enjoyed in the Garden of Eden were taken away. And we fell into the fundamental problem of Genesis 3. So, God gave us the Messiah, the offspring of woman in Genesis 3.15, which we really need. Also, through His death on the cross, 
all the curses and disasters were solved. He rose from the dead, and as he breathed out, he said, "Receive the Holy Spirit." By breathing in the Holy Spirit with the name of the true King Christ, we can destroy the devil's work that causes us to be swept away by the words of people and failing to follow the word of God. Also, in the name of Christ, the true priest, break down the curses of all diseases that makes me fear. You will receive the filling of the Holy Spirit in the name of the true prophet. Christ, who opened the way to meet God, then you can pray. I will become the main figure of world evangelization. Now we have to enter through the narrow gate, that is the Genesis 3:15, the gate of Christ, breaking down the power of sin, death, Satan, and hell, the three curses that already entered in my body. Before Jesus, only with the name of Christ, breaking down the unbelief that makes me to live as myself is entering through the narrow gate. I bless you to become the spiritual summit of world evangelization by entering the door of Christ and following God's word every day. Almighty God. Thank you for giving me grace to receive your strength and start anew by accepting the Messiah Christ of Genesis 3:15 given to me as my Lord. I will always enter through Genesis 3:15 the door of Christ that follows God's centered word to gain life. Allow me to become a spiritual summit of world evangelization. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ha 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 